What's up, guys? We're here in Lake Shavavo, something like that. Shavavo. I put it in the description. Look at the background. My hot wife, Casey. What's up, Casey? Come say hi. Hi, guys. Having a good time out here in Michigan. What should they do? Definitely run a boat. Check nope. out the lake. Doesn't know what they should. What should they do? Oh, here? you should like and subscribe. Our hey, YouTube channel. We've been working on that question for like 30 years. <laughs> what day? About Michigan. <laughs> on my deathbed. What should, what should I'm gonna be asking? What should you do? She's like, you should go in peace. I'm like, no, you should like and subscribe. <laughs> Leave a comment. Let us know what you think. It's beautiful out here. If you're there, this is not Lake Michigan when the Great Lakes, but it's Lake. It's a name we can't pronounce. Charlevo or some Charlemagne. Lake Charlemagne. Charlemagne. It's close to Charlemagne. Yeah, it's not really, but it's a French name. But it's a cool name. Oh, the sun is just going away. What the hell's going on? But it's just absolutely gorgeous, beautiful. I'm getting my tan. Just beautiful. I'll get some footage while we're riding the boat and stuff. I'm gonna do some tubing footage too. Check out this house. It's like a boat garage in there. Just that big building. It's just a garage. And look how far the building goes back. I thought it was a hotel at first, but nope, it's just somebody's house. It's crazy. Yeah, whatever storage unit they have, I'm definitely buying. It's crazy. That's like super. So we anchored the boat. Are you gonna go in the water? Yep. Ready to go in again. All right. Hey, that's bread. Hey, we got jalapeno bread. I like it. I love it. That's my. That's, that's my slice. <laughs> Where's my salami? All right, I gotta go, guys. Okay, say bye, Casey. Bye. So, guys, Rose has been sitting there for three hours. Look at this boat. Look at the thing. She's dressed up for an Arctic expedition. We couldn't get her going in the water yet. She should go in water for a minute, but she's been eating for like four hours straight. Are you setting a record? Longest food consumed in Lake Shavala. And I don't gain weight. I know, I do. <laughs> <laughs> What's up, Casey? Hi, guys. Enjoying so, the What's the verdict in the lake? We've been out here for about like five hours now, rough, roughly. It's really nice. It's a little cool, though. It's windy a little bit. Way on the floor. It the works. water's really refreshing. This takes two seconds to warm up. Anything you want to say to your future self when you watch yourself on YouTube in like 30 years from now? No. Enjoy your youth. You only have it once. That's because everything's on a break. No wrinkles. No wrinkles. Wrinkles just show experience. Exactly. Are you kidding me? Every wrinkle, every gray hair I've earned. I'm proud of them. I know. Me too. Oh, I know about that. <laughs> no kidding. Oh, oh no. Well, no, Tatiana's no. probably going overboard in just a second here. I was going to take you to Europe, but uh, I don't know. You still look beautiful, We did some more swimming. Casey, what do you have to say? Uh, we got a lot of sun. It was a lot of fun. And if you watch any of the videos with the tubing, oh my god, I was laughing so hard. That's why the camera started shaking because I was laughing hysterically. Alright, I'm going to put some tubing video in there. <laughs> we got half an hour to go. We got to take the boat back. If you like videos like that, so this is not our regular video. This is our uh, come hang with the family at the lake type of video. Make sure to leave a comment. Uh, my new hairstyle. Do what? Like and subscribe. And the bell if you want for any new videos. Yeah, that's what, what Mikey said. He knows how to hit the identification bell. Maybe or the main bell or something like that. Like hey, he's a YouTuber. <laughs> Tatiana, any final words? We need bigger towels. 
<laughs> Rosa? Rosa actually finally went in the water we seven hours and 45 towels. minutes. You know, it's a typical room. Seven hours and 45 minutes into the trip. She's like, oh yeah, I'll go in the water. So we're going for 10 minutes. I'm like, okay, guys, I gotta go return the boat. She don't want to come out. It's like, it's like, go figure. Old people, you know? If you're old and watching this, I apologize. I'm sorry. I meant to say young people. If you're young and watching this, I apologize too. Just people in general, I guess. Anyway, thank you for watching, guys. That was like whatever it says in the description because I can't pronounce it. Beautiful day. Make sure to like and subscribe. Hey, guys. Another day in Michigan. It's actually our last day. We're about to fly home in a few hours. But before we fly home, we had to stop at Colonial. Say that word. Mitchell. Chile in Michigan. We're still sunburned. We're still boating. Still sexy yet. And now we're gonna go check out some Colonial City. And guess what? You guys are gonna go with us. So let's go take a look. So guys, the original Union Jack. Well actually the one that was used, let me give you the correct dates, otherwise I get called on. 1707 to 1801. That was the British flag. And then right here, this plain white flag. That was actually the flag from the French Navy and in most of the colonies people didn't fly the other French flag with the fleur de lis on it but just a plain white flag and eventually they changed it so that's a cool little fact so if you see a white flag it could be colonial French. Casey and Tatiana checking out a oh, traditional yeah, teepee. Yeah, so, this so this is a teepee they only came out for summer vacation basically they came up here to the rivers to the lakes and they were fishing and then they're temporary camps and she's building a fishing net down there we'll just figure it out right down there so that's really cool right. and then this fort everything time period here is around the 1770s so kind of cool that's how to see you can see how to construct a teepee Casey said huh it did come in fast Ted, uh, Rosa and Casey went to go in jackets. That was about 26 minutes ago. So, Tadiana, what do you think? It's raining, but like the mosquitoes, like the tiny ones, are like attacking my legs. I know, it's one right here. Ooh. Uh, I think they might have left us. Ooh. But it's like totally coming down oh, right now. Oh, yeah. I don't know if you can see it in the. See it a little bit? It's coming down hard. It's cool though. That's how they were hiding the 1770s underneath a canoe with the trade goods. <laughs> Protect the trade goods, very important. That's your bank account, basically. There's 72 of us, not just two. <laughs> Take care, that's the attention command. Arm load! Take that cartridge, bite it open with your teeth. Put powder in that flash pan. Shut down that hammer. Trap it with the main charge down the muzzle. Papers, the wadding, the ball omitted for safety. Draw the rammer and ram it down. Turn that rammer. Roll your fire line. Make ready! Huzzah! Hi! Run the load. Now, John had a misfire. Not uncommon. I will try to load up again. Timing. Spires are not uncommon. I'll show you another weapon that never misfired that was 100% reliable in just a moment. Make ready! So we're in our lookout point. This is by the front gate of the fort. That's Tatiana, working security, looking for French, and also laid on Indians. So right here in that place, the Indians actually played a game and it ended up coming in through the front gates and killed a lot of British. But luckily it stopped. There was a local guy that stopped everything and Yay. they worked it out, but still it was not good. So I thought they killed like all the people. Killed 20 British soldiers and I think some civilians. Oh yeah, yeah. He a lot of forts that were... The captain of the fort, the commandant, he got saved.
what kind of cool is this? So now we're in the south east corner. Hi. Yeah, it's freezing about up here like this. I absolutely love it. But it's the lookout point. So here's a lookout point. And we can uh, we'll see the whole spray of ship on the past the ship over there. So straight across the side. Ships want to come down here. We can watch them. There's cannons ready. Cannons down there. Cannons over there. Nobody going by without paying their taxes. Yeah. And part of our team right now. Yep. So if they're what they try to come by here. So I gotta work out. Mm -hmm. kind of cool. I love it here. This is such a beautiful view. The water's really cool. It's actually really chocolate. So it's beautiful. guys one of the places i always wanted to stop is like a collectible shop like in the old days in the middle of bum freak nowhere and i think we just found one in upper upper michigan we're like an hour away from lake superior which is like way north so and it looks like nobody's been here for years almost to be honest i love the sign show them the sign yeah i'm gonna show you guys the sign right now to, uh, turn around anybody who see my pictures on instagram with my uh, suntan i hope you enjoyed a lot of trash talking, but it's okay. You know what? I put it out there. It's okay. 